Okay, so I always begin by planning on Photoshop. This is my draft sketch that I've made, and then this is the render that I've done. The good thing about Photoshop is that you can adjust your proportions always, and you can work on colors, which is really good for the planning process, and it is so essential. This helps you spend more time painting and less time thinking during the actual process, which I think is always a bonus. Okay, so second day, I've made some revisions to my draft, and I can start drawing and painting. It's always important to plan before you paint. It will save you so much time, take it from me. Okay, so I begin by inserting this sheet of cardboard inside the garment so that it is flat when I paint on top of it. Okay, so this is the part of the process that everyone's most interested in. I start laying down the base colors for my painting. Always make sure that you have at least your shadows, your highlights, and your midtones. That's the very bare essential stitch you need for paintings. Make your blacks blacks and your whites as whites as you can. And as you can see here, I just start improvising from this point. Okay, so I'm going to show you a technique called one brush stroke painting. You're going to dip one end of the brush into one color and the other end into another color. Then what you're going to do next is you're going to mix on the palette the two colors together in one direction. Because of this, you're able to create a really cool effect where the colors blend into each other. I use this to make bamboo shoots and uh, flowers and leaves, and it's something I think you should practice as well. It's really cool for paintings, and it's a really easy blending technique to use. Okay, so you guys might be wondering what I use to paint. So I use acrylic paint. When I paint, I don't use fabric paint as it's really expensive. What is the difference between both of them? Well, one is softer in the end. Um, if you do want to use fabric paint, you can buy fabric medium. Fabric medium is mixed in with your paint in a one-to-one -one ratio. And what it does is it allows the painting to be softer on the surf surface eventually. There's not that much difference in my experience. I've used both of them and I prefer acrylic paint on its own. It's easier to do, it's faster to do, and it lasts just as long. So use acrylic paint, you'll be fine. Okay, so I'm basically done with this piece. I might add more stuff tomorrow. So the next part of the process is to heat set your painting. This makes sure it stays on the garment. So what you do is you let this set for 24 hours, take a hot iron, and then press it onto the surface directly, and let it cure for another 48 hours. Acrylic paint takes 48 hours to cure, so make sure you leave time for that. And then you should be good. Don't wash this too much, and you should be fine. Enjoy your painting. <laughs> I make more of these, so if you like it, Instagram down below.